I'm Jay Schaefer with Skylapser.com. Today I want to do a quick overview and review of this. This is the uh, Bikey Carbon Fiber uh, Compact Travel Tripod and it goes under the model number of Q666C. Uh, this is uh, one of those kind of uh, made in China tripods and it is carbon fiber and um, it comes under s several different brand names. So you may s actually see this online as uh, a different brand name th than the bikey uh, brand name that's, that's on this. Okay, so as you just saw that I went and I folded down the, the legs here and that was in their 180 degree inverted position, which is a great way to uh, store and pack this uh, tripod up. It packs into a really uh, small, compact, uh, probably 24 inch uh, space there. So, so I'll go ahead and extend this out and uh, sh show you that it goes out to about uh, 50 inches in height and without the uh, extension on there and then the, the uh, center column extension adds about another foot to it. Okay, and so then I can unlock this and raise this up. So that's, you know, that's a, a, it's a little bit over uh, five feet in, uh, in uh, English measurement. And so this tripod is, is, is pretty lightweight and one of the other advantages of it is that it also can convert to a monopod. So I can go and I can screw off this leg here. And I'll just prop this up here like that. And then uh, it also comes with this little handle here, which uh, screws onto that tripod leg. And then you can take the ball head off here. And put it onto the monopod. And so then you have this actually func functioning as both a monopod and a nice little Alpenstock walking stick. Okay, so one of the things that I uh, don't necessarily really like about this tripod, and, and you can also take this handle here, but uh, I just want to show you this real quick, is that I can take that and I can sc screw that onto the center column as well. And I can screw this leg back on. And that gives me even some more extra height there. And so that brings that up to about uh, two meters or, or uh, six feet in English measurement. Uh, so one of the things that I kind of don't like about this tripod is that is the actual weight of this ball head. Is without the ball head on there, and even with this handle on here, this is only about three pounds, which is uh, a really nice backpackable weight. But when you add this ball head on there, that adds almost a, uh, another pound, about 12 ounces to the actual weight of the tripod. And that kind of defeats the purpose of the carbon fiber and having this as an ultra lightweight travel tripod. However, I ha do have to say that it's a quite heavy duty, nice ball head that allows you to do pan independently of uh, tilt and positioning of the ball head. And it does have a nice Arca Swiss compatible quick release on it. So that said, it's, 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 a, it's a really great ball head and I'll definitely keep that in my collection and I'll use it in situations where I'm not trying to go out there and be ultra lightweight. When I am going out and, and being ultra lightweight, is what I'll do is I just put, go ahead and I put on one of these, which is the uh, is a really inexpensive little ball head from uh, the Giatos and you can find that also on Amazon. And 
This does what I need it to do in that when I'm having, and this is a walking stick, I can have a GoPro on the top of there and it's not a whole lot of weight. Or if I want to do, uh, do a time lapse, I can put uh, the GH2 on there and it handles that weight just fine with the little ball head there. And this is, you know, when I'm in the situation where I'm actually backpacking into the backcountry to shoot time lapses. And that's where this tripod actually excels. And it does have a few nice little features like here. It, has, it does have the hook on the bottom of the center column so that you can uh, hook on your camera bag or uh, sandbag or dry bag or something like that to, to keep that weighted down. And so that you can you know, operate in high winds or whatever you want to do and make it more stable. It's available for about $149 from uh, Amazon. And uh, for that money, it's a really nice, compact, lightweight travel tripod. This is Jay Schaefer with Skylapser.com. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and come visit our site, Skylapser.com. Mm hmm.